So this is our uh, 12 watt solenoid. Uh, this is on our high flow valve assembly. So this assembly can flow, it's, a, it's, it's an A24, so it means it fits an A-Rag slash high pro um, style nozzle body. And uh, this can flow 2.4 gallon a minute. So that's the significance of the A24. Um, this is the lifeblood, the basis of, uh, of our PWM systems, all of our sprayer systems. Um, we have high flow valves, which indicated by the blue lead is 2.4 gallon a minute valve. And we have a standard flow valve, uh, which is 1.5 gallon a minute. Uh, that's indicated with a black lead. So um, ever since 2016 or and up, we've gone with blue versus black lead to indicate the differences in the valves. Um, just kind of going through this a little bit, we can take it apart here. This solenoid will actually detach from the body assembly. And there will be an o-ring inside so that can, you can see that's where the flow comes in on those four holes on the outside and it goes out on the center hole our plunger let will set this down so there's the plunger for each individual valve that will actually sit on that face normally closed and when we engage it it will normally it will open uh, with the signal coming from the controller so this plunger has got a spring return to return it to normally closed that should move freely at all times uh, these plungers uh, have four slots on each side to let the flow come around. That's what kind of helps the uh, high flow capability here. Um, but very simplistic. If there is any issues with the electronic side, so if you get a valve lodged open error or um, any kind of valve error indicated on your screen, uh, first place you're going to come out and is to check this solenoid. Uh, a good rule of thumb on this is... If you've got a solenoid that is not picking up on the system, uh, meaning it's got a valve cool circuit open, uh, you can come out here and take a voltmeter, put it on resistance, check between the leads. Uh, on these high flow valves, you're looking for 10 to 12 ohms. On the standard flow black lead valves, you're looking for 21 to 23 and a half ohms. Um, if it's outside of that range, it's bad. Replace it, go on. You can just take the solenoid off itself, put it, a new solenoid directly onto this body, keep on rolling, change the plunger and everything out. Um, so. That's the valve for the system. We'll just go ahead and stick our O-ring on. Now these mount directly on any existing nozzle body on the market, uh, the majority of them anyway. Uh, this one is a high pro nozzle body. Um, so this fly nut, this plastic piece here that we have, that is the threaded, it's got a threaded pitch pattern to match exactly on this high pro nozzle body. We make them for Wilger, um, we make them for high flow John Deere uh, A-Rag nozzle bodies and many others. Uh, they're indicated by the letter and number here um, that's printed on the side of the stainless portion of the valve. So we'll put our O-ring on, we slide this forward, and then tighten that right on to the, the existing nozzle body on the machine. So we don't actually have to change anything other than remove the drip check. We can just throw this right on there. Screw it tight. You want to go about hand tight here. Make sure you don't have a lot of free movement in this valve. And that's pretty good there as long as you don't you can't really twist and turn that no need to go back on there and get uh, really aggressive with a set of pliers uh, you can if you want to tighten it just a little bit extra but hand tight usually works pretty good